As you know, I'm Tanya from Tanya's Witchy Kitchen, and today is supposed to be an episode of Tea Time with Tanya's Witchy Kitchen. I decided that we were going to do something totally different today. So if you want to come to it as a tea, that is fine. It is not a tea at all. It is just one of these things I want to bring you. And so we'll just start it off with three things. Dream big, be true to you. You are worth it. I am Tanya from Tanya's Witchy Kitchen, and let's talk about drunken raisins. So, I gotta spruce my hair. It's outside. <laughs> so, do you know the side effects of NSAIDs? NSAIDs? It's non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, kind of like ibuprofen and along that line. Okay, and there's a lot of them. Um, you can look them up. I can't pronounce half of them. The side effects of these drugs is high blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes, atrial fibrillation, fluid retention, heart failure, indigestion, stomach ulcers, perforation of the intestines, kidney and liver damage. So today we are talking about drunken raisins or in other words, gin soaked raisins. They are great for pain and inflammation, including arthritis and joint pain. Mm -hmm. I should sit up here. I look kind of oh, like I'm just, yeah, it's the camera. So usually typically people use the golden or white raisins. Raisins and grapes, okay? All raisins and all grapes are naturally anti-inflammatory, pain relieving, and have arthritic properties. They're also very healthy in that they have zero cholesterol, zero fat, low sodium, high in vitamins and minerals, high in antioxidants, okay? Kind of like the wine thing. Those antioxidants are help rid impurities in the blood, benefit bone health, help with gums and teeth, and also help with macular de degeneration. So I'm gonna blame my childhood on, on this, the, the bad teeth and bad eyes, because I always pick the chocolate chip cookies over the raisins. <laughs> but my mom has this down pat, so she just puts the chocolate chips and the raisins together, and everybody likes it except my husband, so we don't care. <laughs> he can pick the chocolate chips up. <laughs> As for gin, um, you need gin, okay, so typically the gin needs to be made with with juniper berries and there are some gins that aren't made with juniper berries or they're made with other things so you just got to do your research on the gin okay and we'll get to other options in a minute um, health benefits of gin it's a diuretic it's great for arthritis helps with weight loss how do you think it helps with weight loss like drink your dinner I don't know. <laughs> if you have a suggestion, let me know. And it's great for cardiovascular disease. Hmm. Now, there are different grades of gin. Like, there's different grades of alcohol, and there's different grades of chocolate, and, you know, those important things. So make sure don't buy a bottom shelf one unless you really know, like, it's a very good, solid juniper berry infused gin. Okay? Um, when they mentioned was the Bombay Sapphire Gin, which I don't have, I've never looked for. I don't know how expensive it is, but um, they said that one was a, that they had really good results with, okay? Supposedly has the most anti-inflammatory ingredients. Okay, so to do this, it's really simple, and we'll go, you know, to the kitchen and do it, but you soak one week, okay? Nine, nine raisins a day. So, okay, to start, you put the raisins in a shallow, bowl okay pour just enough gin over the top so they're barely covered so you know not totally covered like when you're cooking potatoes but just barely below that line okay you can cover it with a light towel um to keep dust or air particles out of it you can leave it uncovered too either way you're gonna let this sit you're gonna let it sit till the gin is almost all evaporated and the raisins will be very moist um so let's talk about this here. Depending on the temperature in your house, it could ev evaporate faster than, than um, 
You know, you do it one time and it evaporates in two days. You do it another time and it takes a week, okay? Um, one thing I found is mix the raisins like every other day or every day if you want to because the ones on the bottom are soaking it all up and the ones on the top are kind of drying out because it's, you know, evaporating. So give them a mix once a day just to get, make sure they're all really saturated, okay? Store in a tightly closed container. Refrigeration is not necessary, okay? You can put them in there, but it's not necessary for this. Um, you take nine to 10 per day. Could you split them up? Sure, you could take five in the morning, five at night. My, my voodoo doctor loves doing that to us. Um, and maybe that would be a great idea for some people, and maybe some people need that immediate boom right there, okay? Um, some reader comments. There were very interesting comments. Um, there was an 83-year-old lady who had a stiff shoulder. Okay, not really good range of motion. And her son got her hooked on this. And I don't know if it took two months or so. I can't remember. But um, eventually she had full range of motion of her shoulder. Okay, so maybe it was arthritis build up or I don't know. I'm not a doctor, guys. Um, but the reader comments were really interesting. Some people said vodka worked very well. Now, I don't think they're talking Kharkov vodka or whatever that cheap one is, <laughs> but maybe, maybe it's made with juniper berries. I don't know. Do your research, guys. Um, slow gin from slow berries from the black thorn bush are supposed to work really well, too, in place of juniper berries. If you don't want the alcohol, um, there are readers that said apple cider vinegar with the raisins worked well, too. If it was me... Okay, because when you look at the benefits of the juniper berry itself, I would infuse the vinegar. I'd warm it up, you know, get it hot, pour it over gin, some gin berries. I would infuse it for two weeks first, and then I would infuse it with the raisins. Okay, just so you have that juniper berry infusion in there. Now, if you are allergic to juniper berries, then by all means, do the apple cider vinegar and the raisins, because you don't have to worry about them at all, right? Um, one reader said don't use the organic raisins because they're not exposed to sulfites before drying because it takes the sulfites to react with the gin to make the herbal tincture. I don't know. You're gonna have to test this yourself, okay? Another reader said, and these were readers that seemed to have been doing it for quite a while, okay? They weren't just popping on their same crap. It was it was really interesting. Uh, they said dark raisins work just as well as the golden raisins, okay? Just as well. I have the golden raisins because that's what I bought, okay, to do this. Um, but I am going to try it another time with the dark raisins. Because I was thinking it's kind of like grapes. Aren't the dark grapes actually healthier for you than, or better for you than the green ones because they have the purple color and purple's the magical color for the world for health antioxidants stuff like that i don't i don't i'm just saying i'm just saying okay results for this can take two days two weeks or two months kind of sounds like fog doesn't it yeah three days three weeks three months that's when you have rain you know um but yeah so this was really short and sweet. This is really simple. And we are already done with notes and we are going to the kitchen. So these were my golden raisins. You, we went through the notes, you know, you can decide what is going to work best for you. Um, just non-GMO. Go for non-GMO overall. So what you need to reiterate is we need a shallow bowl. And we're going to fill that up with our raisins, okay? You know, just a nice, I just dumped the whole container in there, guys, okay? Just dump it in there. Now, your gin. You might want to research the type of gin. Make sure it's got the juniper berries in it, okay? It might have other things, but make sure the juniper berries are a thing. And then we're just going to take our gin and we're going to pour it over the top till it just barely covers, okay? See, I guess I didn't even, eh, yeah, that's a barely cover. You don't want it totally covered, right? And like I said, I mixed it daily. It didn't take that long. Our house was warm. Um, 
I would say it took about a good three, four days before almost all the gin was totally evaporated out of there. But look how plump the ones on the bottom were versus the ones on the top. Okay, and that's why I just felt I needed to, they needed to be mixed, you know, to get a good, good uniform um, batch of raisins. You know, I want them all drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like I said, a light towel. I just um, put my beeswax wrap on it and just left the side open. And then an airtight container. I used a jar. Um, these are actually really good. I have to say, they are really good. And there you have it. The Drunken Raisins. Gin infused. Drop me a comment below if you try this or if you change something around. But anyway, I hope you had a good time. Thank you for stopping by. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>